but your feet flat on the ground so you can really feel the earth the ground underneath your feet making that contact with the earth just to really ground yourself and you may want to just sit up straight in your chair your your back making contact with the back of the chair and you may just want to place your hands hands um just rest them on your legs but really any any position that feels comfortable for you you may want to sit in a chair that doesn't rock backwards like this one I'm falling back. I'm falling back. Sorry. Humor is also welcome in meditation. This is the beauty of meditation. It's not this strict, serious thing. It's meditation is a field. It's just all welcoming moments of humor, moments of seriousness, moments of grief, moments of joy. It's all welcome. It's about the welcoming. Meditation is a welcoming space. So having said that, I'm going to try and sit up in my chair that wants to pull me back. Um, okay, so just get really comfortable wherever you are and just gently allow your eyes to close. And take a few really deep breaths into the belly. And so the invitation is just to be here to let this present moment, however achy or tense or uncertain you feel, however numb or scared or expanded you feel, just to let this instant of living become the most fascinating thing in the whole universe, just you sitting, breathing in and out, wearing these clothes, feeling what you feel, hearing what you hear, thinking what you think, sensing what you sense, knowing what you know, just to let this moment become the most fascinating moment. What's it like to be you, present, here, now? Let's just really arrive in this moment together, arrive on this chair, arrive into this now. Let's give ourselves just a few minutes of rest from this exhausting, seeking game trying to be somewhere else or be someone else or have some other experience let's infuse this experience with curiosity just inviting your attention out of the past letting all the drama all the activity of the day recede into the background And bringing your attention out of the future, all these future moments that we are imagining, fantasizing about, fearing. Let's bring ourselves back to this ground, to this belly, to this breath. Just feeling your feet on the ground. Noticing the feel, the texture of the floor underneath your feet. Noticing those sensations of contact between your feet and the ground. Noticing the places where your body touches the chair that you're sitting on or the bed or the sofa. Those places where your, your back, your lower back hits the chair, your rear end hits the chair. Just noticing those sensations. Flushing these sensations with curious awareness, which is love. So we're beginning to 
view this present moment as a as a work of art made up of all these funny sensations, these living sensations. Notice the sensations in your hands right now. Tingly sensations. Warm sensations. Also notice absence of sensations. Places in your hands that feel more alive, or less alive. Just noticing the life in your hands. Remember, we're not thinking about our hands. We're not thinking about this moment. We're meeting our hands right now as if we'd never met them before. As if we were little children. Meeting hands for the first time. As it's this, these funny clouds of sensation. Mysterious, alive. Jesus said that you have to become like little children to enter the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of hands. Fascination with hands, the way we were when we were children, we were just fascinated with what it feels like to have a body, hands, feet. What does it feel like to have a face? Just noticing all the sensations of the face now. Not thinking about the face, but going to the face with your curious, fascinated attention. Noticing all the sensations of the face. Sensations of tightness, tension. Sharp sensations. Do you notice any sharp sensations? Or dull sensations? Sensations of heat? Do some parts of the face feel hot? Warm. Do other parts of the face feel cool? Gentle? Just beholding the face, the miracle of the face, as if you were an artist fascinated with your subject. The first time you've experienced a face. The mystery of having a face. And as you breathe in and out, can you notice those sensations of air passing through the nostrils? You become aware of the flow of air through the nostrils. As if this was the first breath. Because in a deeper sense, it is. It's never before experienced this breath, this moment. These sounds. Can you notice those rising and falling sensations of breathing? Where do you feel them in the body the most strongly? Maybe in your belly, in your chest? Just notice those rising and falling sensations. like a wave rising and falling all by itself in the ocean. The miracle of the breath. Notice how the body is breathing all by itself right now. There's nothing you have to do. There's nothing you have to know. There's nothing you have to understand. There's nothing you have to be.
The body knows how to breathe. Just give the body permission to breathe naturally, effortlessly. And if you notice any sense of holding around the breath, any sense of contraction around the breath, tension, just gently invite that sense of holding to soften. Just let the body breathe in its own pace, at its own time. Rising and falling. Using the breath as a an anchor to the present moment. Breathing is only now. Breath does not happen in the past. Breath does not happen in the future. Breath is intimately, profoundly rooted in the present moment, in the earth. Some vast, unspeakable intelligence is breathing you now, breathing all of us. The same intelligence that breathes all living beings is present at the Big Bang, makes the flowers grow, the sun shine, and tides go in and out. It's the same unspeakable intelligence that's breathing you now, making the belly rise and fall all by itself. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just drenching this moment with gratitude. Blessing it with curiosity. Awareness. Just noticing all the sounds of this moment. What can you hear? Just paying attention. Maybe you notice the sound of this voice. The sound of your own breathing. Maybe noises in the room you're in or sounds from outside. Notice how this hearing is also just effortless. Sounds just appear in your awareness and are heard effortlessly. Effortless breathing, effortless hearing. Just sinking into the embrace of this moment. Just sinking a little bit into the chair or the sofa or the bed that you're in. This is a meditation that welcomes us exactly as we are. Exhausted, broken, tense, relax. Notice if you're subtly trying to get into a different state, seeking a different experience. Notice if you're subtly even trying to relax or trying to feel better, or trying to be in some other moment, or trying to be enlightened, or trying not to try. And you can just gently acknowledge that, that effort, that trying.
it's not a problem. That, that energy can also be here with us in this meditation. That efforting, trying, struggling. It's all welcome here. Meditation is like a giant bath. A warm bath where all of our friends can join. Uncertainty, boredom, struggle, relaxation, tension. So what are you noticing in your experience right now? What's appearing in this moment to be welcomed, to be noticed, to be embraced? What's here? Is there a sense of tiredness? Numbness? Overwhelm? A broken heart, grief, uncertainty, whatever's here just for a moment, can we say yes? We don't have to like what's here, we don't have to want what's here. We're allowed to have a preference for something else, but just in this moment, can we say yes, yes to this boredom, yes to this deep grief, yes to this uncertainty, yes to this trembling, this shakiness, this vulnerability, this excitement, or this joy, or this longing, this confusion, or this tightness in the belly. These are all our friends. Just parts of us that are longing for, for love, for help, for understanding, for welcoming. Maybe a contraction in the chest, a tightness in the shoulders, welcome. Yes, yes. A pressure in the head, yes. A tightness in the face. A loneliness. An urge. A burning desire, yes. It's just for a moment together, staying in this sacred middle place. This alchemical place, not pushing away what's here but also not acting on or acting out on what's here. Just staying right in the middle, just present, breathing. Don't forget to breathe. We can even say yes to our no. So maybe that's what you're in touch with right now. Some of you may be in touch with a, a sense of no, a sense of resistance a frustration, a restlessness, a, a burning restlessness to be somewhere else or to have some other experience, a sense of rejection or refusal, that part of you that's saying, no, I don't want this moment. Let's not make even that part into the enemy, into a problem, into something bad. From the perspective of meditation, this warm bath of presence, even that part of us, that burning no, I don't want this moment, I don't want to be here, I don't want it to be as it is, I want to be in a different moment, I don't want to accept this longing or this grief or this pain. Can we even make room? for that hot one, that burning one, that fiery one. There's even room for that fire, let it burn. Again, we're staying right in the middle, not pushing it away, not denying it, not repressing it. See if it's possible for you to just stay 
lovingly without distracting yourself just for a moment. And if you become distracted, that's also okay. Even distraction is okay. You can notice, okay, I became distracted. I went somewhere else. And then bring yourself back. Let's sink together into this deeper yes. The yes, even to the no, even the struggle. Just allowing. And if there's a place in you right now that feels particularly achy or sore, or tense or contracted or lonely, neglected, Go to it with this loving presence. Invite some of your breath into it. Give it some of your breath. Maybe it's just a part of you that is starved of oxygen. Maybe those painful, achy, wounded places in us are just places that are starving for love, starving for oxygen. Places that we ignore, that we distract ourselves from, that we run from. In meditation, with courage, we're just leaning in to this wonderful, imperfect mess of our humanity, this holy, sacred mess. So you can even let go of all your attempts to meditate, to allow, to accept. And just let yourself rest. Let yourself sink into the chair, into the earth. Just give up trying to understand, trying to hold yourself together, trying to heal, trying to know, even trying to feel better. Just let yourself fall into the chair, into the ground, into the earth, broken and whole, empty and full beyond all of these words just so alive the absolute mystery of you just let yourself rest you've been working so hard you've been struggling so much you've been seeking so fiercely You've been running for so long. You deserve this moment all to yourself. This moment of rest, not even trying to rest. If restlessness is here, if the restless one is visiting, a sense of struggle here, a tension here. It's welcome. In this meditation, like the loving arms of a, a wise Zen grandmother, just holding you, loving you, exactly as you are. Wonderfully imperfect, gloriously broken. But so lovable. And whole. And miraculous. The fact that you exist at all. In this moment, the fact that you exist at all. 
the sheer miracle. You are alive to experience, experience. But you're alive in this moment to experience what it's like to be alive, to feel, to sense, to hurt, to know joy, to know suffering, to know life. So feel free to stay in this place of rest, but if you'd like to, you can just gently allow your eyes to open and come back into the room or wherever you are and have a little stretch. And if you'd like to, you can, on the count of three, that's all over the world, let's do this. On the count of three, don't think about it, just let out a sound that just expresses where you are right now. Okay, three, two, as loud or as quiet as you want. Three, two, one. Oh.